We've all got places to go, people to see, things to do, but maybe, just maybe, we should slow down just a little bit. It's definitely good advice in Bucks County, where going too fast is going to cost you. Here's Seanette Wilson. Whether it's rushing to pick up the kids from sports, making a quick trip to the grocery store to pick up something you forgot for dinner, or weaving in and out of traffic to make it to work on time, chances are we have all been there. But right now in Doylestown, you might not get away with it. Six o'clock on a Monday evening, and a driver going faster than the 55 mile per hour speed limit gets the dreaded siren. And flashing lights in the rearview mirror. It's every day. Lieutenant Charles Ziegler with Doylestown Township Police sets us up with two officers at the Broad Street on ramp to the South 611 bypass. And in a matter of minutes, another car comes flying by. People have different distractions with whatever's going on in their lives. Sometimes the, the first thing they'll ask is, what did you stop me for? Right now, Doylestown Township PD is putting an extra focus on aggressive driving enforcement. Speeding vehicles, vehicles weaving through traffic, uh, red light and stop sign violations. It falls under Pennsylvania's aggressive driving enforcement and education program. In the last two details, we issued 21 citations, uh, and the vast majority of them were for speed. The first week in Doylestown, enforcement along the Easton Road and Route 611 bypass. But that right there, that light was red right there. Lieutenant Ziegler says this is one of the busiest intersections in the township, Easton Road and the Barn Plaza. They were making a left on red. Maruga and Pranjo Patel are taking news of the crackdown pretty well. I think it's fine. I think it's a good way to keep drivers safe on the road. I do see like a lot of people like if someone cuts them off, they try to overtake them. So that leads to speeding and like without turning the flash, like the blinders on, they just like switch lanes out of nowhere. Police add there is one offense many people don't know about, especially youth drivers, and that's the move over law. I kind of saw another car doing it, so I did it, but I didn't know it was like a law or anything. Whenever there's a fire a truck, a ambulance, or a police vehicle on the side of the road with emergency lights activated. All operators are required to slow down or move over to an adjacent lane if possible. So it's $250, but as of April 27th of this year, the fine changes to $500 on the first offense plus two points. Police say tickets will be issued for all violations during this stepped up enforcement. Everybody wants to get where they need to go, and it's our job as the police department to try to help people get there as safely as possible. In Bucks County, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News.